So Jessica has a condition called neurofibromatosis 2, which means that she has a number of tumors, but the most significant ones are the ones that affect both of her inner ears in terms of her communication. As a result of those tumors, she can't hear normally. Um, however, uh, we removed the tumor on one side, and at the same time that the remnant of tumor was removed, we're able to place a special implant in her brainstem called an EBI, is it actually stimulates the connections in the brain where the hearing nerves go in. And so this is a way of trying to stimulate the hearing center, even though she doesn't have an inner ear or a hearing nerve on either side because of the tumors. So there are a number of steps in all of this. Step number one, obviously, is to get the tumor out. Step number two is to place the ABI in the brain stem in the appropriate location. And that's probably the most time consuming part of everything because the device is stimulated and tiny little electrical impulses are recorded from the brain to make sure it's just in the right position. After things heal up, the device is activated and the first time it's turned on, because it's affecting the stem of the brain, we actually do it with her hooked up to a heart monitor and to make sure that no other funny reactions occur. And then after that, it's similar to a cochlear implant in that we have to program the electrodes to simulate what you would be hearing in a regular situation. When I lost my hearing, I was we were confused, not really knowing how to feel about a very frustrating and being able to hear the sound, no matter how minor or soft it is, like, okay. So you feel like being able to hear the sounds around you better has given yes. you a greater sense Most of definitely. independence and safety? More so able. I don't necessarily need someone around me all the time. Is it getting easier to identify sounds around you as you're wearing it? Yes, it's easier to identify the sounds and no one's on light is talking or even if the TV is still outside. I would say the greatest thing has been her awareness. Um, I know just driving and uh, she's able to hear um, the various sounds in the in the house and it's really wonderful. You know, one day she heard my husband sneeze and she said, oh, bless you. And he's like, did you hear me? And she's like, yes, I could hear you sneeze or the water was running and she asked, she was looking around and she was like, is water on? And I'm like, yes, it is. And it's just the amazement, um, the things that we take for granted that was at some point removed from her, but now it has been given back to her through um, this procedure. And we're just so grateful um, for the quality of hearing that she does have because she had none.